Hi, I'm Diana, the artist behind My McDoodles. Welcome to my channel. This Metallics Toolkit for Procreate just launched on my Etsy shop, so I wanted to show you a little bit about it and how to use it. So what exactly is this toolkit? It is a whole bundle of foil textures and papers and metallic paint, and it comes with a free color palette so that you can paint onto your canvases and get those like really popular shades of metallics that look really pretty and just add a little bit of something extra and like sparkly to your artwork. When you download this toolkit, you'll get eight uh, procreate canvases that will help you create these textures and you'll get a paint palette. I saved all of mine directly onto my iPad. Um, you can put it in your iCloud drive. So anytime you have a procreate document like this, it when you click it, it'll automatically import into procreate. Another way you can open these documents is you open your procreate app, you just click import and then it will allow you to go into your files and my folder is right here. And then I would just import whichever one I would like to use. And then to import the paint, all you do is click on the paint swatches and it'll automatically import into your, your Procreate. You won't see it until you have a, a canvas set up. So once you have something like to, to draw in, you can click on the paint and imports will be all the way at the bottom. So let's start out with this um, gold foil. So this will be the same procedure for any of these ones that are labeled with a specific color. The only ones that are a little bit different are the ones called foil texture and metallic paint because you can make those any color that you wish. So I'm going to start out with one of these ones that's already a preset color. So I have my canvas here and if you open the layers you can see you have your gold foil here. Whatever you draw directly underneath in this layer called draw foil, um, that's going to be like you put gold foiling over your, uh, your lines there. Uh, it's only going to apply to that layer directly underneath and all of these other layers you can add in other details that you don't want to be shiny. You can also import your um, images into a layer that's below this foil, draw foil here layer. You can use any color you wish. It doesn't matter in this case because it's all gonna look gold. See if it's black, if I grab the pink, it looks exactly the same. Anything you draw there is just going to be gold. So it doesn't matter what um, color pen you use. So let's say you wanted to draw something down here. And then you wanted to add your foil on top of it just to add like some accents to your rows. Let's make this a little bigger. So I can just continue using the same pen color. It doesn't matter. It's just going to look gold when I, when I draw here. If you want to add more colors on top, you just draw on top of your gold foil layer. Let's say we want like some green leaves or something like that. And it's going to go on top of your foiling. If you want it to be under, you simply draw in a layer underneath here. So you can add as many layers as you wish. So what if you have a picture that's already drawn that you want to add some of the foil to? It's really easy. All you do is go into the layer below this draw foil here layer. Anything you import here is going to be completely gold. So it'll just be like a solid um, sheet of gold in the shape of your previously drawn picture. So if you can go down to this one called non-foil details, you click this little action menu, this, which is the wrench, add, and then insert a photo. So I have my teacup and then in my foil layer, I just draw wherever I want to have the gold foiling. So we'll just put it in some of these like this leafy area up here. And you can see how easy it is to just add a little bit of um, texture and, and detail there, make it just look really special with the shininess. So what if you want something that's not 
just a solid color. Like if you don't want to um, have like a predefined color, you just want to add the foil in yourself, you can use these other files. So you could either use this foil texture or the metallic paint. I'm going to go with the metallic paint as my example here. And you'll see in the layers, this is your um, texture folder that's going to make it look shiny. So it's, it's going to be at the very top and you just leave that one alone. Anything you draw underneath will look shiny. So you can either import items here, which is a little trickier because I'll show you if you import, say, that teacup, the whole thing is shiny. If you don't want the whole thing to be shiny, but you still want to be able to control like what colors things are as far as your foiling, I'll show you a trick for that at the end. Let's clear that out. So this is where you can use this paint palette that came with your set to really create a lot of different metallic hues. If I grab this gold, So this one's a little different because anything you draw on this whole canvas that's underneath of this metallic paint texture uh, will be shiny. So you can use these different swatches that came with the, the kit as your metallic paint and create something that's completely shiny. And if you want to um, just add accents, I'll show you how to do that too. So let's say we wanted some of this to have the metallic hues and we want to be able to control the colors in this. So if you use one of those other files, you're only going to get like gold or silver or whatever file you chose. If you use this one, you can control the, the colors and make any color of metallics. But then it's a little trickier to um, have it as just accents, um, especially if you want the foil to be at the very top. So if you draw it in this layer above the metallic paint, you can certainly do that, but you'll see it's going to cover your paint. So what if you wanted to have just um, regular paint included in your image, but you don't want it to be like over top of your foil? What you can do is in, down here in this layer with the, the foil, you can select it by holding two fingers on it, or you can click the menu and press select. Okay, so I've selected my layer and then up here in my top layer, I don't want this paint to be covering my foil. So you can either go in and just erase specific portions of it. So your foil shines back through. Or you can just swipe down and press cut and it will erase what was selected, which was this um, area here. And then it erased out any areas that had the foil so that it shines back through from beneath. There's one more way that's really easy to um, create lots of different colors so you can use them in your pictures um, without having to erase out pieces of your drawing like this. If you don't want to work in a destructive fashion, you can drop any color into this background layer here to create any kind of folio you wish. So if you want a specific color, you can just choose it from your color wheel here. And then when you're happy with it, you can just click this actions menu, uh, share, and then save it. Save it as a PNG or a JPEG. I'll just save it as a JPEG here. And then you have your own um, customized color sheet of whatever foil you want. It really doesn't matter what color you create because you can always adjust it in this hue, saturation, and brightness menu to create many different colors. Since I created the green one, I'm just going to go with that and make a new canvas. So let's say we wanted to add some accents to that um, picture of the plant. So I'll insert my photo, the teacup. So you can um, make a new layer, add in 
your new foil that you just created and it's going to be a clipping mask. So make a layer on top of your artwork. So in this case, the teacup, you need to layer in between those two. So the foil is going to clip down to the layer that's in between them. So then you can click on the menu and push clipping mask and see it looks invisible right now. But then when you go in and you draw in the layer that's in between, and it doesn't matter what color you're drawing with because the foil will be whatever color you just made it. And then you can draw in your accents wherever you want and not have to worry about erasing pieces out or anything like that. Now let's say we wanted to add like pink too. You can just duplicate your foil and then you want it to be um, a clipping mask to a blank layer that's underneath of it and then this greenish blue one is going to clip down to those leaves I just drew. When you add new layers on top, it kind of um, automatically all becomes clipping masks. So you have to kind of click into your menu and adjust things to keep it so that the, the layers are only clipped down to the one directly underneath. So then I have another layer of this blue, but I want it to be pink. So I'm going to just adjust it with this hue, saturation, and brightness. For that, I'll just unclip it for a second so I can see what I'm doing and then go to the adjustments menu, which is this magic wand looking thing, and then click hue, saturation, and brightness. And then you can click layer or pencil. I want to adjust the whole layer. If you clicked pencil, you can do like little bits at a time and then you can adjust those. But in this case, I just want to do the whole layer. So I want it to be kind of like that rose gold color or like a pinkish color. So something like that is good. And then I'm going to clip it to the layer underneath. If you wanted to use one of the colors that was included in your paint palette or you have a specific color you'd like to use, you can also adjust it by um, clicking this plus sign and then just dropping your pink color in there and then going to the menu, the blend menu, and then you go through the blend menu and you can click um, down here which says color and then it will recolor your layer underneath. So then I'll merge those down and there's my rose gold foil and then I choose clipping mask to make sure that it goes to the layer directly underneath and then you just draw in the new layer you have underneath of the rose gold foil and it will show through like this. So that's also an easy way to do it where you can add lots of different colors into one image and not have to worry about opening um, this same teacup in several different layers of foil. When you create it this way, you can also have the ability to save it without a background. So you can have a transparent background to save this as a PNG file. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a lot of fun with your new toolkit. If you would like to go check it out, it's in my Etsy shop. You can go to www.mymcdoodles.com or go to the link in the description of the video here. If you already purchased it, thank you so much and I hope that this was really helpful for you to understand how it all works and um, how much potential it has. I'd love to see what you draw with it. If you post your creations, you can tag me on Instagram at mymcdoodles or comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.